Oh hey, I didn't even see you there. So I just got this gun. It is a Rossi Tuffy shotgun. It's chambered in 410 and it's a single shot shotgun. So I haven't seen a whole lot of 410s on the market. It took me for fucking ever to find shells for it. So let me just show you some rounds around it. So this right here is a 12 gauge bird shot. Then right next to it is a 20 gauge. I believe this is buckshot. And then last, 410 gauge shotgun shell. It is significantly smaller in diameter. But, oh well. Let's see if this thing kicks a whole lot. So this gun does have a safety on it, as you can see here. Right there, it's on fire, because you can see the red F. Now it's on safe, which I felt like this is going to be an oversight, but whenever you click it from safe to fire, I thought that it was going to slam down on the hammer and fire the gun off, but apparently it doesn't. So I got my ears in. I'm going to fire this single-handedly. All right, not too bad. I think I forgot to show this off, but on both sides it has places where you can put your shells in it. And it also, it ejects the shell for you. It's going to be terrible camera work. But let's see what, I believe this is birdshot. I'm going to be aiming for the left one. See what birdshot does to a block of ice. camera. Let's try buckshot. The one right next to it. So this one right here was the bird shot. Let me get this plastic off here. So you can see where all those pellets went in. But yeah, you can see near the back if this thing focuses. I'm pretty sure that's the BBs right there, or at least some of them. Now looking at the buckshot, it went in, it went in this way. No, I think this is also birdshot. Never mind. <laughs> but you can see the pellets as well. I'm curious just to see how fast I can shoot the Rossi, because for a pump action like this Mossberg right here. Talk shoot. You can do it real fast, but for the raw seat, since it's a single shot, you gotta crack it open and shoot, crack it open again. So I wanna see how fast I can actually do that. All right, this is the situation. There's a crazy box coming after me, and I actually am shooting at a target. But there's a crazy box coming after me, and I gotta take it down. Oh crap, it's still coming. Thing is down. I didn't even mean to do that, but the shell ejected into my hood. All right, so here's the box. Look holes. I'm not very happy about this. Now that one, that one was better. Way more carnage right there. But I got a little special thing for you. I've just been showing you this side of the gun, but on this side, I've been told that this is a magnum shell. Well, that's what my grandfather called it. I'm pretty sure it's just a slug. But I got all of these bullets from him. I refer to him as Armory Grandfather. All right, firing the Magnum slug in three, two, one. That had a lot more kick behind it. That Magnum probably had, I don't know, double or even triple the kickback that a normal round did. So, and this is the hole that the slug made. Which now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure he said Magnum Slug, but I'm pretty sure it's not actually. I don't know. I guess I'll believe my grandfather. So that's the slug. Then that's the bird shot. So there you go. I guess that's going to be... Actually, no. I have one more test for you. All right. Here's another dumb idea. It's on safe right now. But I want to see just how well the safety really does work. It works pretty well.
So I came out here and I shot all my shells except for this one. I have some back at the house, but I went to four different stores to try to find 410 shells and no place had them. So I really should hold on to as many as I can because I don't know when I'll come across them again. But I really don't want to carry this one shell back, you know? You know what? I'll be responsible. I'll be responsible. I'll just put this back. I don't need to shoot it. 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 I do not need to shoot this. There's no reason why I should shoot this. Screw it, I want to shoot it. While I was out here, I was thinking about what else could this gun be used for? Because, yeah, you could use it to go hunting, but you can buy a hunting rifle for that or get a shotgun that would actually be good for hunting. Because this is only a 410. Yeah, a 410 could do a lot of damage. It could mess someone up if you shot him with it. It could mess up an animal if you shot it with it. Like, I've heard and seen people deer hunting with these kind of guns. But I would say it's not a very good hunting gun. There's better choices. So... What's so good about this? So why did I even decide to buy this gun? Well, first off, it was $140. This is the cheapest shotgun, cheapest rifle, the cheapest any kind of gun that I've come across, which I haven't done a whole lot of searching, but it's the cheapest. Second, I had an idea, because if you have the Taurus Raging Judge or another gun that shoots 45 Long Colt, you can also shoot 410 shells out of it. So I was thinking that I might be able to shoot 45 or 45 Long Colt. Which turns out, I can't. It won't work. I got a single 45 Colt from my grandfather, armory grandfather as I call him. But it didn't fit and actually got stuck in the barrel. So that wouldn't have worked. Also, it's pretty small. I would say about the size of, I don't know, like a 22 rifle. Here's a few size comparisons for you. Here's the Rossi, the tough shotgun, right next to my Mossberg Maverick. You can just see the difference. So I said that the Rossi was roughly the size of a 22 rifle. And yes, I do got guns to protect my toilet paper. But anyways, the Rossi, it's about the size of a 22. Then there's a 22 rifle. So the Rossi is smaller than a 22. Well, since it's so small, what all is it good for? So if you're a fan of my TikTok page, you probably know that I shower with guns just in case something happens, just in case someone breaks into my house. So it brings up the question, can the Tuffy replace my Taurus 38 Special? I think so. But what if you're super paranoid and you're afraid someone's going to break into your house? What would be the perfect bed gun? You hear someone coming, you rip open the sheets, you grab it, pull the hammer back, switch it to fire, boom, you got the bad guy. And also, it has double safeties on it, as I'd call it, because you got to pull that hammer back, and you got to turn the safety off. That's going to be super hard to do whenever you're in bed sleeping. So, 10 out of 10, probably one of the best guns ever, only for 140 some dollars. You got a perfect shower gun and a perfect bed gun. Or I guess, if you want a truck gun, I mean... I guess if you're a weirdo like that and you put a gun in your truck. Real men, real men shower with their guns and sleep with them. Now if you don't excuse me, I'm going to go wait for an intruder. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. That just hit me in the face. Have a good day. Hey, you stayed even after I told you goodbye and told you to leave. Good for you for not listening to me. So since you stayed, here's some extra footage for you. I think it's kind of strange, in the ammo apocalypse, as my family has been calling it, 12 gauge is about the only thing you can find. Like, you can't really find any rifle rounds, and you definitely can't find any pistol rounds. So, since I already had a 12 gauge on me, I might as well, you know, just, I might as well. I might as well just shoot my Mossberg. It's, it's a pretty nice gun. Do I really need to come up with an excuse of why I'm going to shoot my Mossberg? I'm just going to shoot my Mossberg, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> so the, the 410, it embedded the BBs into the ice. Like, 
didn't do a whole lot, just embedded itself in there. Well, the 12 gauge just fucking blew this bitch in half. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say 12 gauge has a lot more power than that little 410, you know. Well, most of the ice is out of that and there's all the BBs that were inside.